Hey, curious crew, ready to uncover the secret sauce of science? Imagine our world as a grand complex puzzle. Now picture science as the master detective, diligently working to piece together this puzzle one clue at a time. It uses observations, experiments, and a sprinkle of curiosity to decode the mysteries of nature. From why the sky is blue, to how plants grow, and even to what makes us, well, us. So you see, science is solving the puzzles of our world. Now let's meet the real-life Sherlock scientists. They don't all wear white coats and have crazy hair like you might see on TV. Instead, they're curious, organized thinkers who love to solve mysteries. Imagine you're at the beach and you see seashells scattered everywhere. A scientist might ask, why are there so many shells here? To answer that, they'd use specific tools, like a magnifying glass to examine the shells or a notebook to record their observations. They don't just stop there. They conduct experiments, testing different ideas to uncover the truth. Maybe they'll find that waves bring the shells ashore, or perhaps birds drop them. Scientists also use high-tech tools like microscopes to look at tiny cells or telescopes to study stars far away. From the deepest oceans to the farthest galaxies, there's no mystery too big or small for our scientists. And the best part? You can be a science investigator too. Just stay curious, ask questions, and never stop exploring. These scientists use their tools and brains to solve the world's mysteries. Ready to piece together the puzzle with some theory time? Let's dive right in. When scientists observe an experiment, they gather evidence like detective clues. These clues can help them form educated guesses, which we call hypotheses. Imagine you're playing a game of hide and seek. You might hypothesize that your friend is hiding behind the big oak tree because you see a glimpse of his red shorts. Now, what if your hypotheses keep proving right? Like always finding your friend behind the oak tree? Well, your hypothesis might just level up to become a theory. Take gravity, for example. Sir Isaac Newton observed an apple falling from a tree and hypothesized that a force must be pulling it downwards. He tested his idea and gathered so much supporting evidence that his hypothesis became the theory of gravity. But here's the kicker. Theories are not set in stone. They're based on lots of proof, but always open to change with new evidence. Just like a puzzle, the picture can change as you find more pieces, so keep your hat on and stay curious. Science is all about having an open and flexible mind. Imagine a tree, its branches sway with the wind, but they never break. They are flexible, just like the minds of scientists. They bend their thoughts and ideas to the rhythm of new evidence. You see, scientists are like operatives. They follow the clues, but they're never too stubborn to change their course if the evidence points in a different direction. They know that science isn't about being right all the time, but about finding the truth, even if it means changing their minds. Remember when people thought the Earth was flat? Well, the evidence didn't support that, and so the theory evolved. Today, we know our planet is a beautiful sphere, thanks to that flexible scientific mindset. And that's the beauty of science. It's a never-ending journey of discovery, driven by curiosity and shaped by evidence. So don't be afraid to question, to explore, and most importantly, to change, because in the world of science, new discoveries are always welcome. But wait, not everything claiming to be science is the real deal. You see, science relies on observation, testing, and evidence. It's like a detective story where every claim must be backed up by clues, or in this case, evidence. Let's take palm reading, for instance. It's fascinating, isn't it? But does it pass our science test? Nope, that's because it lacks the crucial ingredient, hard evidence. It's not based on observations that can be tested and repeated. And how about magic tricks? They're super fun to watch, but they're not science either. Why, you ask? Because they're based on illusion and sleight of hand, not testable facts. So, it's important to remember, just because something looks like science or uses big scientific words doesn't make it scientific. Real science is a rigorous process based on evidence, not just claims. It asks questions, tests theories, and always, always looks for the truth. Science is based on evidence, not just claims. 
Now that we've cracked the code of science, let's put your knowledge to the test. Do you remember what separates science from not-so-science? Or how a hypothesis becomes a theory? Let's see how well you've been paying attention. Remember, there are no wrong answers, only opportunities to learn. So put on your thinking caps and get ready to show off your super scientist skills. Three, two, one, let's go. Well done, super scientists. You're well on your way to becoming master scientists. And with that, it's time to wrap up our science adventure. Remember, every day holds new mysteries for us to unravel. So don't stop here. Continue exploring the wonders of science. See you on our next learning adventure. Until then, keep your curiosity alive and keep exploring.